What is going on everybody? It is your boy Dylan Talks back at it with another video and I just got done watching the Breakfast Club interview with Boozy Badass man. Boozy Badass and OG and OG who spoke his mind about the change that is going on in the culture of hip hop and everything. The world's going brainwashed. The world is going brainwashed. Everybody's a fucking puppet or a fucking sheep everywhere you look. And uh, Charlamagne the guy wanted to get a hit piece on Boozy Badass so bad just for Boozy Badass speaking his opinion. You could be encouraging violence against gay people. He even I'm said, not I never said. I know. You said I'm you not. wanted to beat him up. No, for going up there and and you know you want to say you wanted to get naked. And if I was there at the awards on the front row and he got naked right there, I would drag him I don't him think anybody... If he wasn't gay, you saying a straight person got on stage, you would... Want yeah, to say fucking thing. right. If he got naked, I would fuck him up. You know, so be, it's not about being gay. Don't about get naked gay. on an awards You stage. don't get naked on a award with children? And then he began to say that he feels that he has to speak up, especially since no other rapper is, and that straight people don't have an opinion anymore. And eventually their sexuality is going to not be accepted. It's too vulgar. And Charlemagne the God says that's not the truth. And then that's when Boozy said, look at the baby. They went after the baby because he's the biggest. Because he's the biggest artist with the biggest influence. They had to shut him down. In the real world, you know, people respect me for, you know, uh, standing up. And they're going to take me a long way in life. You know, I'm, regardless if ain't nobody other rapper spoke about it. If you say anything, I'm straight. I like women. It's vulgar to. I don't you know, know that that's vulgar. That ain't true. Yes, yes. You know, but I know it's a different day now. You can't just like the baby, like bro, like you know, like how many how many times you been on set? All y'all DJs, mm -hmm. and you heard somebody say, "If you ain't got AIDS, make noise in the whole club." Ah! Oh no, you're right. That's true. That's true. But it's a different time. No, it's a different time, mm -hmm. and because. He's one of the biggest, you know, so they, they, you know, they try to make examples out of people, you know, so the next person who blow like this, you going to go with this. And I feel, you know, they're attacking our children, you know, you make all the, you make everybody support this. Who love these rappers? The kids. The sure kids. kids. Yeah, but you know, you I make, no, you make every rapper go with it. If every rapper go with it. I heard you, you, you I, grab you grab that generation. I know I loved every rapper when I was little. Mm -hmm. I loved every rapper. You know what I'm saying? I try to copy what they did. Charlemagne the God and that whole entire cast just wanted to control the narrative. Y'all saw that. Nah, that ain't true. That ain't true. Like, yes, it is true. When I was a kid and I admired wrestling, John Cena, Batista, the Hardy Boys, Rey Mysterio, I bought all the gear. I knew all the songs. I knew all the wrestling moves. When kids are admiring somebody, especially something that has a lot of influence into people's lives, they are going to attach themselves to that and be easily influenced. So what makes you think if rappers are promoting a bunch of fruity ass shit that the next generation won't follow? But I mean, it don't just go for, you know, Lil Nas X. It goes for other rappers out there who sexualize their music videos and promote drugs. It's all filled with a bunch of bad shit. The point is, though, it's a problem, and people don't want to talk about that. They want to pick and choose what problems should be talked about and what problems shouldn't. And people see that. I mean, if you look at this interview, Boozy clarifies comments about the gay community, Lil Nas X, Instabands, plus more. It has 47,000 likes and 3,000 dislikes with over 1.5 million views. The people have spoken. The people have spoken. They understand what Boozy is saying. They're not fucking brainless idiots. The people who have a problem with what Boozy said are the ones who are with a small voice and they're fucking retarded. You are fucking retarded if you think it's okay for anybody, anybody, to perform on stage with no clothes. Now, something else I stumbled upon the other day was that Jelly Roll has sold over half a million copies of Save Me. And it is now certified gold. And something that I found out about having a certified gold album or single is that if it's over half a million sales, you can possibly be nominated for a Grammy. And how cool would it be to see Jelly Roll walk on stage, perform Save Me, and walk out with a Grammy all in the same night? 
And I mean, I just find it so inspiring watching artists evolve because most people know Jelly Roll as the rapper, but nobody truly knew Jelly Roll as the artist. And rap can only take you so far. Of course, it's a mainstream, massive genre, beautiful genre. I love it. But when it comes to that majority audience, if you choose not to evolve in some type of way, you miss out on sometimes those opportunities that you never thought were possible. You know what I'm saying? I think it's very important to evolve in today's time. We lived in a time where you had to be a rapper. You had to be a country singer. You had to be a pop star. You had to be so many different types of genres. I mean, there are tons of genres people don't even know exist. I mean, music can go on into so many type of categories, which is something that the Grammys fell at. They don't talk about any type of other categories that exist that people actually listen to. It's crazy how many different types of music there really is in the world. But with that being said, with what he's done to evolve as an artist, to get that other type of audience towards his music instead of just focusing on rap music is a risk that a lot of people don't want to take but look at what it has done half a million copies sold and it's gold that's legendary shit 